Okay, so we shall begin our lesson today with the discussion for STPM semester 3, uh, chapter 6, which is about carbonyl compound. So we start from the objective questions as always, as usual. So let's begin. Okay, number one, uh, which of the following pair of compound could be distinguished by the mean of the Tolan's reagent? So Tolan is specifically used for testing the presence of aldehyde. Okay, so uh, this is a methanol, this is ethanol, so both give positive tests to the Tolan's reagent. Uh, this is a ketone, this is also a ketone, so both will not give a positive test to the uh, Tolan's reagent. This is a ethanol and this is a propanone, that means this is a ketone, this is an aldehyde. Lah. Okay, so this one can give. And then finally, both of these, uh, this is a ketone and this is a ester so the best answer in here will be b okay okay so b is the one that can use to distinguish okay number two a compound q can be used to determine the following properties number one it is neutral so uh, usually when you contain a carboxylic acid it is acidic so uh, c is already out of our choice even though we have ch2oh uh, but um, ch2oh is not a very strong acid is considerably a weak acid so uh, they still might chances that it might be a neutral so let's continue number two produce a reddish brown precipitate with failing solution that means it must be containing aldehyde so around this this is not aldehyde lah. okay so a is already wrong okay and then given give hydrogen chloride when treated with phosphorus pentachloride that means it must contain a OH in here Okay, so uh, in here, uh, this uh, this one can, uh, okay, so the best answer in this case will be D, because B, uh, this uh, 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 this uh, benzaldehyde will not give a positive test to the failing solution, uh, okay, uh, tolerance reagent can, okay, so uh, that is why uh, the best answer in here is donkey D, uh, okay. Okay, so that is for uh, number two. Uh. Then we continue with number three. Which of the following reagent give positive tests with propanone and phenyl ethanone? So propanone in here uh, has the you have to first draw out the structural formula of the propanone and phenyl ethanone. Only then you'll be able to figure out. Uh, what is the positive test to both of them? So, uh, as you can see from both of the structure in here, both contain a methyl uh, methyl carbonyl compound. Okay, they both contain methyl carbonyl compound. So both can give a positive test to the alkaline iodine solutions. Ah. Okay, so the best answer in here will be A. Okay. Okay, then we goes for number four. A sample of butatuone is treated with LiAlH4 and then concentrated sulfuric acid. Which of the following could not be applied to the product form? So, uh, you have to first understand the chemical reactions here. So, you have uh, butanone, CH3, CO, CH2, CH3. So, when you treat it with LiAlH4, uh, so it will be, uh, become a, a secondary alcohol. Lah. Okay, so you have CH3, CH2, OH, uh, CH2, CH3. Okay, and then when you further treated with concentrated sulfuric acid, so it become uh, alkene. So you follow the Zaysef rule. So CH3, CH double bond, uh, CH, CH3. La. This is a dehydration, isn't it? So this is the possible changes of the reaction take place. So let's have a look at the product form in here. So when it is a product form, does it show optical isomerism? No. Uh, this one is geometrical. Yes. It undergoes nucleophilic addition. So instead of nucleophilic, it is an electrophilic addition because of the C double bond C. It reacts with sodium metal to give hydrogen, which is also wrong because it does not contain any more hydroxyl group but it's still decolorized acid 5 potassium manganate okay so no matter hot concentrated or cold diluted both of them are possi possible okay so the best answer in here is point b 
Okay, so that is for question number four. So we are going to continue with question number five. The following reaction is an intermediate stage in the manufacture of important polymer known as the prospect. So this is the prospect CS3, CN, uh, CCN, or HCS3. With what is the type of mechanism involved in this reaction? So the addition of the HCN to uh, tolens, uh, to uh, carbonyl compound is definitely a nucleophilic addition reaction. Okay, nucleophilic addition reaction. So uh, the answer is D. Okay, so the first, number six, the first phase is synthesis of antipyrin, a uh, drug used to reduce fever, is the reaction between compound P and phenyl hydrazine. Okay, so compound P, which is, if you look carefully, contains two compound a functioning group. One of them is a carbonyl, another one, COO, this one is ester. Okay, this is carbonyl, and this is ester. Okay, so uh, when this one you contain phenyl hydrazine, so it will give a positive test to uh, carbonyl uh, via a condensation reaction. So when you form the via the condensation reaction, what will you form? So you form a, uh, this uh, C double bond N. Uh, okay, so the best answer that fits into all the description here that forms the uh, this one is actually donkey D. Okay, so this is a condensation by the carbonyl group. Uh, okay. Okay, so that is for question number six. Okay, shall we continue to number seven? Okay, so number seven sounds like this. Uh, compound S has the following characteristic. Form silver deposit when heated with a solution containing this one. So it must be an aldehyde. Uh. So A is guaranteed wrong, B may be correct, C may be correct, D also guaranteed wrong. Okay, then number two, do not produce. The question said no produce. That means does not have a, a, a methyl carbonyl group. Okay, does not have a methyl carbonyl group. So when it does not have a methyl carbonyl group, then the best answer here will be C. Okay, so that is for number seven. Then we straight away continue to number eight. Which of the following statement about the compound with the structural formula below could be correct? Number one, is it an aromatic compound? No, uh, this is a cyclopentanone, so it is not an aromatic compound. And then B, is it an ester? So as I uh, as we discussed just now, it is a ketone. And then C, it, uh, it is saturated since it contains a double bond, so it is not saturated. And D, it gives a precipitate with 2 4 the natural phenyl hydrazine, which is true uh, due to the C double bond O uh, in a saturate, unsaturated. So it gives a positive test in here. Okay? So the best answer in here will be uh, D. Okay, so let's go to question number 9. The exhale brief of diabetic contain propanone. A medical student who wished to test diabetes asked his patient to bubble their brief through a reagent. Which reagent to give a positive? So propanone is a ketone. So which positive test will it result? So posit uh, propanone can give a positive test to aqueous airline alkylate solution. So it's correct. But does it give a positive test to aqueous bromine? No, because it does not contain phenol. Okay, failing reagent also no because it's ketone and tolerance reagent so no. So the best answer in here will be A. Okay. Okay, so that is for number nine. And then number ten. The compound C3H7Br undergoes a sequence of a reaction, a reaction as follows. So number one, when you react with the uh, OH minus, so you form X. So this is a hydrolysis. Uh, you must know how to complete the X, Y, Z. Uh. So when you react with OH minus, so the hydrolysis will become the uh, alcohol uh, in here. And then when you react with acidified potassium manganate, which is eventually uh, oxidizing agent. Okay. So this oxidizing agent, be careful uh, because a, when it oxidizes, it can set off partial oxidized to become CH3, CH2, CHO. Now, how do we know that it is CHO? Because of the next statement, tolerance reagent that gives a silver precipitate. That means your reagent must containing CH3, CH2, C double bond O. 
Okay, so what is the best answer in here? Let's have a look together. So you must have a primary alcohol which give uh, this uh, carbonyl. And then carbonyl when you oxidize, actually it's uh, because of the H2O plus, uh, so the carboxylic ion eventually become carboxylic acid back. Uh. So that is why the best answer for this solution in here is C. Uh, cannot be D because uh, the second uh, ket the secondary alcohol oxidized to become the ketone, so which will not give the silver mirror test. So that is why we cannot select uh, C uh, D as our answer. Okay. Okay. So that is for question number ten. So let's continue to question eleven. A sample of butan to on is treated. Eh, alama. I think it seems that it's kind of repeating, but uh, never mind, let's still continue. Uh, as we already deduced just now, you form CH, uh, CH2, so when you react with like LH4, so you uh, become the secondary alcohol, CH3, CH4H, CH2, CH3, yeah. Okay. Then number two, it undergoes electrophilic uh, substitution reaction, so uh, which is also uh, correct. Okay, so uh, because it can undergo electrophilic substitution uh, substitution reactions in here. Okay. Okay, this one when you react with concentrated H2SO4, so it become uh, alkene. Okay, so it reacts with sodium, uh, this one, uh, okay, number two is incorrect, huh? sorry, yeah. number two is incorrect, so it undergoes electrophilic addition, not substitution, so two is wrong, huh? two is wrong, sorry for that, and then it reacts with sodium metal to give the product, so also wrong, okay, and it decolorized SCD5 potassium manganate is correct. Okay, so the answer is one and two only. Yeah? Uh, one and sorry, one and four only. Two is wrong. Instead of substitution, is addition. Uh, sorry. Yeah? Okay, so the there is no answer for number eleven. Okay. Okay, so apologize for that. Okay, so uh, so there is no answer. Huh? Okay, number twelve. Uh, compound H has the following characteristic. Form silver deposite when heated with a solution of silver nitrate. That means it can uh, aldehyde. So answer may be C or D. Lah. A and D is already out for our choice in here. Okay. Okay. So uh, do not produce yellow precipitate when we add with uh, this one. So uh, iodoform test is very specifically for this one. But since uh, it said that uh, does not produce. So it does mean that C is not the answer. So the best answer in here would be don't do it. Okay. So that is for our question number 12. Okay, so immediately we go to question number 13. Which of the following reagents react with both benzaldehyde and also ethanol? A. Hydrogen cyanide. Can it react with hydrogen cyanide? Yes, uh, because it undergoes this uh, electrophilic addition. Pardon me, nucleophilic addition. Huh? Okay, number two, uh, it reacts with the spelling solution, uh, not for benzaldehyde, because benzaldehyde cannot react with spelling, huh? uh, but ethanol can. 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrozyne, as long as you are carbonyl, you can react with 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrozyne. And LiLH4 uh, is also can be reduced for both of them. Okay, so at the end, you get number one, two, and four. So the best answer in here would be uh, C. Uh. Okay, number 14. Liquid X has the following composition C uh, 62.1, H 10.3, 27.6. So liquid X also gives yellow precipitate when added to warm alkali iodine. Which of the following statement about X could be correct? Number 1. X contains hydroxyl group. Now let's together calculate the empirical formula. 
So after you calculate the empirical formula, the pos uh, empirical formula for x is C3H6O. So it can be aldehyde ketone. Okay, so uh, after the calculation, you can see the ratio is C3H6O. Okay, so it's either aldehyde or ketone. Eh? So X contains a hydroxyl group, which is uh, wrong. Wrong. Eh? Okay, so uh, X contains carbonyl group, which is correct. So the answer is 2 and 4. Eh? 2 and 4. Sorry, yeah. Okay, whatever lah. Okay, so uh, and then number three. Uh, empirical formula is C2A6O, which is correct. And number four, it contains this one uh, because it contains it uh, give yellow precipitate to a warm alkaline iodine solution. So four is also correct. So the best answer in here is two, three, four. So it's under B or D. Uh, okay, boy or donkey. Uh. Boy or D. So I highlighted again in case if you mistaken. So this one correct. This one also correct. Both are correct. Okay. Okay, so that is for question number 14. Eh? Okay, then immediately we go to number 15. Uh, compound Q decolorize aqueous bromine. Oxidation of Q give R C2H4O2. And then um, T is C3H6O. So T do not give a positive test to tolerance, but give a positive test to iodine. So compound Q could be what? Okay, so compound Q uh, is usually uh, this uh, 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 alkene, uh, okay, because it can react with aqueous bromine. Uh. So oxidation of Q uh, refer to ozonolysis. Uh. So ozonolysis give R, which is oxidation. So uh, when you oxidize, you give R C two H four O two. So this one automatically is carboxylic acid, C H three C O H. And then plus T C three H six O, so uh, it is actually uh, a carbonyl compound, uh, which is C H three C O C H three. Okay, so uh, what could compound Q be? So C H three C O H uh, comes from uh, double bond in here, whereas a uh, carbonyl compound uh, you comes from the sorry uh, this uh, ketone you come from a uh, Tertiary alkene, so it should be like this. Uh. So the best answer in here will be B. Okay. Okay, so that is for number 15. Huh? Number 16. Compound Z has the following properties. Form an orange precipitate with 2, 4 dinitro of any hydrazine. So automatically uh, B is wrong. D is also wrong because B is uh, alcohol, D is ester. So it will only give positive test to 2 for the natural and form yellow precipitate with hot alkaline. So obviously the answer is here is C. Okay. So uh, that is how you are going to answer for number 16. Okay. Then uh, we continue to the next one, which is question number 17. The mechanism for the reaction between ethanol and hydrogen cyanide is shown below. So this is the reaction. In the reaction, A, carbon atom in the carbonyl group has a low electron density. Uh, this is true. Why? Because the magnitude already goes to the nitrogen in here. So carbonyl has a low electron density. But we reserve this one first. It may be correct. It may be wrong. Okay, but technically it's correct uh, because the uh, arrow is pulling to the direction of the uh, nitrogen here okay okay the reaction temperature must be higher than 200 degrees celsius actually no need huh? you can even occur at room temperature and then the nitrogen atom in the cyanide does have the lone pair electron for the form formation uh, in this statement be careful uh, you have to read completely the statement nitrogen does have the lone pair electron but it is not for form formation okay so uh, cyanide ion acts as a nuclear file in the reaction which is true uh, okay Okay, so which one is the correct? So number one, uh, since number uh, three is already wrong, 
So correct answer could be uh, one correct and four correct. So the answer will be C lah. Okay, so that is for question number 17. Huh? Then immediately we go to question number 18. Which of the compound is optical active and can undergo nucleophilic addition? So let's first look at the optical active. Which one is optical active? So uh, this uh, aldehyde is optical active okay, because of the four different surrounding uh, ketone and also, uh, sorry, this uh, Aldehyde also can give a positive test uh, to nucleophilic. Okay, so ketone can be undergoes oxidation. Uh, it is optically. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. C cannot because C, uh, C must be it must be optically active, and C is not optical active. Also wrong. B is it optical active? Also wrong. D is it optical active? Also wrong. Okay, so the best answer in here will be A. Okay, then we go for number 19. Compound P has the following properties. Form orange precipitate with 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrogen, so all carbonyl compounds, so ABCD, North, nothing cancer. Form yellow precipitate with hot alkaline solution. So we will have to look, uh, know how to draw the structure for each of them. Uh, okay, so this is the benzaldehyde. Uh, ethanol is CH3, C double bond OH. Uh. So butanone is CH3, CH2, COCH2, CH3, sorry, CH3. Okay, and phenyl ethanone is this one. Okay, so uh, all are correct. Form yellow precipitate with 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine. So automatically one off uh, and uh, phenyl, uh, okay, one off only. So do not form brick red. So it is either, either uh, okay, uh, number three also wrong uh, because it is, oh uh, uh, yeah, 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 three is correct, sorry, three is correct. Okay, so in here, uh, the best one because it gives do not form brick precipitate, that means uh, butanone is out from the order already. Lah, because it says, hey, sorry, aldehyde is out from the order already lah, because it says that it does not form the yellow precipitate. Lah, okay, and it does not form the brick red precipitate. So in here, the best answer is number two and number four. Only, okay? So the best answer in here is D. Okay. Okay, so this is number 19. Then immediately we go to question number 20. Okay, number 20 sounds like this. Compound X is uh, oxidized to compound Y, which do not ox reduce failing solution, but give yellow precipitate to the, this one. So uh, that means uh, upon oxidizing an alcohol of the X, uh, so uh, So this is the uh, alcohol starting where this one is the possible alkali iodine solution. Nah. So uh, you might probably see that the compound in here is oxidized to become uh, X oxidized device but do not reduce spelling. So uh, it is a ketone and give a methyl alcohol, uh, sorry, methyl carbonyl. So X is for secondary alcohol and has a COCH3. So the best answer in here will be here. Okay, then we go to 21. Compound N give the following observation when we have this reagent. Form yellow precipitate with hot alkyl iodine solution. So which one out? This one correct. This one out, C. Uh, this one uh, cannot. And then D also can. Okay. Okay, so uh, M form yellow precipitate with alkyl iodine solution uh, due to that functioning group is uh whereas a COCH3 cannot so oxidation of the carboxylic acid do not liberate the hydrogen gas okay so in here the best answer for uh, this one is C lah, okay
Okay, so that is for number 22. Uh, sorry, 21. Okay, 22. Citro, an oil obtained through extraction of lemon leaf has the following structure. So based on the uh, structure, what is the citrus is expected to have what properties? Number one, it attacks both neutrophile and also electrophile. Okay, so uh, this will be attacked by the electrophile. And this will be attacked by the neutrophile. Okay, no matter addition or substitution, they will both attack in here. Okay, so one is correct. Number two, it is soluble in water as it has organic solvent, which is also probably true, maybe truer. Uh, why? Because uh, this uh, soluble in water. No, 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 no. It's not going to be soluble because of the long carbon. Long carbon cannot be soluble already. Okay, so number two is wrong. Sorry. You can undergo addition and condensation reaction, which is correct. Condensation is referring to this uh, two four dinitrophenone I designed just now, and then it can react with both oxidizing and reducing agent, which is uh, can for uh, the first one because when you reduce. You'll be able to oxidize and reduce my okay. Uh, and then uh, it reacts with both oxidizing. Okay, so let's have a look at the solution in here. So the best solution in here will be uh, C. Ah, uh, C. Uh, okay. Okay, so one, three, and four. Okay, so you. I hope that you can understand the explanation so far. You have any questions? Okay, so if no problem, then we move on to the next one. Propanone react with acidified potassium cyanide to form a compound. So when this compound is hydrolyzed in acidic solution, it forms compound Y. Which of the following are not true about compound Y? So when we react, uh, Y is probably has the following structure. Lah. Uh, it cannot react with concentrated sulfuric acid as it does not have neighboring hydrogen here. And then the, it cannot oxidize by KMnO4 as it is a tertiary alcohol, which is incorrect. Okay, because we have this uh, alcohol inside there. And then it cannot reach, uh, reach with HCl as it is acidic. So number three is also incorrect. Uh. Actually, it's react uh, with HCl. And then finally, uh, number four, react with sodium carbonate because it contains CO which could, and also uh, it will be the only functioning group that give a positive test to lithium carbonate. Okay, so the best answer in here is one correct, two correct, three also correct. So the answer is uh, A. Okay. Okay, so that is for number twenty-three. Immediately we go to number twenty-four. The chain formula of the glucose and fructose are shown below. So this is glucose and fructose. Which of the statement about glucose and fructose is incorrect? Number one, glucose is a monomer of isomer, which is correct. Okay, because glucose uh, cellulose is made of ma uh, many of these uh, glucose joined together by glycosid link. Uh, so A is correct. Okay, B, glucose has a more, uh, more carrier carbon atom than fructose. Yes, because in here you have one. Uh, you have uh, four. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Whereas this one only have one, two, three only. So uh, B has more carrier atom, also correct, but this is not what we want because we want incorrect. And then C, only fructose is produced when sucrose is hydrolyzed, which is true. Okay, and then both of them having different functioning group. Uh, technically yes, uh, because uh, aldehyde is aldehyde ketone is ketone. Uh, okay, okay. So the best answer in here would be C. Okay, so that is how you are going to answer for question number 24. Okay, let's continue. Number 25, the structure of two alarm pheromones for N, C, P, C, P and Q are given below. So please look at the structure carefully. Yeah? P contain benzene and aldehyde, while C contain more uh, carbon, but it is a uh, carbonyl ketone. So A, both can be obtained by the oxidation of alcohol can. Okay, so uh, both decolorize equals to mean also because of the level one, they are very good. Okay, and then both decolorize dilute acidified potassium manganate, only P does that, but Q cannot. And show me stereoisomerism. Uh, inside here, 
I'm the steroid isomerism is caused by the, this one and also chiral carbon atom, this one. Okay. Okay, so uh, the best answer in here is donkey. Okay, okay then 26. When propanone is heated with a mixture of iodine and alcohol sulfide, 20.4 grams of triiodomethane is produced. What is the mass of propanone? So we say that since one uh, carbonyl reacts with one uh, ketone, so the mass of propanone can be x divided by 58 plus 20.4 times uh, divided by 394. So x is equal to 3.0 uh, gram. So the best answer in here will be C. Okay. Okay, so that is for question number 26. Huh? Okay, immediately we go to 27. Uh, smoke from the uh, contain from a bonfire contain a compound that causes irritation to eyes. This compound readily decolorize aqueous bromine and produce uh, yellow precipitate. So this is a very important keyword in here. Uh, decolorize aqueous bromine and produce silver precipitate. That means that uh, there is a, a carbonyl, uh, sorry, that means there is a aldehyde as a functioning group in there, okay? So what is the possible structure of Y? Okay, so A, you have C double bond, CH2, uh, CHCH2OH, so you can only react uh, with the OH but not with this one, uh, okay, double bond. Uh. Okay, B, uh, can you give positive tests? Yes, it can because it contains double bond and also COH, so B may be our best answer. Okay, C, you contain only this... Uh, alkyl but not uh, things that will speed up the rate of reactions uh, okay and then finally d uh, you have a carbonyl with ch2 uh, ch2 and a benzene ring so it's a uh, best answer in here is boy uh, okay okay then we have 28 safa now is a component of yellow dye stuff what is the produce warming with the tolerance reagent so when you warm with tolerance reagent uh, so this one will eventually become CH3, CH3, O, okay, so this is just temporarily, isn't it? And I think that there is a negative or positive somewhere here, positive, okay, so uh, based on the description, so alkene do not accept new profile, where hence only silver complex react with CHO to form CO minus. So the best one is if you form a silver mirror and also a carboxyl ion. Okay, so that is for number 28. Huh? Okay, then 29. Which of the following do not give positive tests to either form? So as long as you have a golden triangle, so everything will be fine. So A don't have, so A is wrong. Lah. So B, you can easily see the golden triangle in here. Then you can get lah. C also, you see the golden triangle, and then D also golden triangle. Okay, so the best answer in here will be A. Okay. Okay, and last but not least, number 30. Compound R react with phosphorus pentachloride to give an acidic gas of the uh, this one so R also react with S to produce compound T, which is a yellow precipitate, a gray precipitate with tolerant reagent. Which of the combination could be RST? Okay, so R in here must be uh, react with PCL5, hence contain hydroxyl group. So when react with S, which is an oxidizing agent, it gives T, which is a gray precipitate. So it means that it contains a CHO group. Therefore, the best combination for this answer in here is A. Okay. Okay, so uh, I guess with that, that is all for the objective questions. So we are going to continue tomorrow with the structure questions. So uh, I hope that you all are ready for it. Lah. Okay, okay. so uh, with that, uh, I end my lesson today. Lah. Okay, thank you very much. Huh?